Hey, this is Ralph, and we're continuing on with this solution video for this uh, particular website project. Let's see, where's my sketch? There it is. So we are making this particular web page. It's got a header section, left, center, and right columns. What have we got done so far? I've got the header with the logo, the title, the search box off to the right. Got a navigation menu with background hover effect, CSS sprite basically. Um, generic advertisement, glass of beer. Uh, let's go ahead and get the structure. See, we got a three column layout here. Okay, overall we've got 900 pixels of space of width to work with. Let's go ahead and get that um, get that structure. So I'm going to jump over to my uh, my code here, and I've already got the divs marked up, of course, with the IDs. So uh, we've got a left column, center column, right column. Nothing too tricky there. And I think I've even gotten them started off here. Yeah, I've got empty rules for left, center, and right. Okay, so let's see. I just need to give them some structure here. My left column. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Float that to the left and make it about 200 pixels wide. Okay. My center column. Um, my let's actually let's think about it this way. You know, it goes because look at the HTML for a moment. It goes left column. Okay. Center column. And then I have the right column all the way down here. And it's not that you can't do it that way, but let's check this out. I'm going to go ahead and take my right column, cut that out, and I'm going to put it up here. So I go left column, right column, then center column. So basically what I've explained in, in class and in previous videos, if you want to make that three column layout, float the left column to the left, float the right column to the right, and that third center column is going to slide up right in between the two of them, okay? So I've got left floating to the left, right floating to the right, and then my center column will slide up right in the middle. Okay, so a little change to the HTML. Back over to the CSS. It doesn't have to be up here, but I'm going to go ahead and put this right column right up here. So my right column is going to, um, obviously, float to the right. I'm going to make its width. 200 pixels, just like the left column. Nothing fancy there. Um, yeah, that's good. I guess cool with that. Okay, so and now for the center column, I don't need to set the width for my center column. Okay, but I am going to do this. I'm going to do a margin left of 205 pixels and a margin right of 205 pixels. Basically, I'm choosing a margin left and right that's as wide or just a little bit wider than the left and right columns, okay? So by doing this, it's not going to be too impressive because I don't have any content for that right column, but things are going to start to really display now. You see, I've got my left column with menu and advertisement, my right column, I just have that little lame placeholder text over there, and then I've got my center column with my generic lorem ipsum text, okay? But things are coming together, that's a basic three column layout with a header. So if you can create two column layouts and three column layouts, you got practically every website layout out there. All right, so there's our three column layout. Um, what's next on the sketch? And don't forget, I've also got some a page of directions too that I can go by and this bulleted list here. Um, let's see, an advertisement displays below the nav menu. I've got that. Center column will contain the name of a specific restaurant and a review. A map showing the location is displayed in the review. Below the review is a simple table showing the address, phone, hours, restaurant, all that fun stuff. All right, so the sketch has really got all the information we're going to need. Okay, left column's looking good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, my restaurant name, then I'm going to have my review, and the review is going to kind of wrap around the map location. Then I've got a table down here that shows a contact location, all that fun stuff. All right, so let me go just get that out of the way. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of work on the old HTML side of things. So back over to my editor of choice, Notepad++, HTML. And I can put my attention on the center column. I've already got a restaurant name in there. That looks good. H2, Sunset Grill. Okay, got the review in there. It's a couple paragraphs. And now I want to get the image in. So let's see. I'm going to put an image in my paragraph right in here. It doesn't actually have to be in the paragraph, but I'm going to anyway. Actually, well, let's do it this way. Div ID equals map. There we go. Image source equals, I'll look that up in just a second. Alt equals map. Okay. I did provide you an image map, and what did I call that thing? Let's see. 
map.jpg. I'm nothing if not creative with file names. All right, map.jpg. You know, instead of going the CSS route, I'm just going to take care of this right here. What if I do style equals float left? Okay, and um, hmm, let's see how that's looking. Let's see how it's looking. Okay, so I'm going to jump back over to FileZilla and just do a refresh. And nothing is coming up. So let's see if I made a typo somewhere here. So let me jump back over to my notepad. Editor, image, source equals map.jpg. Now I can tell something is off already because my color coding is screwed up. And sure enough, I left out a set of quotation marks up here. Save that. Back to the browser. Refresh. And there's my map. Okay, so it doesn't look gorgeous. But um, then again, the sketch didn't look too gorgeous either. All right. So I've got my map in there. I can move that a little bit down. I also have to work on a table. So let me jump back over to the HTML. And I need a little table in here. Table. Closing table tag. OK. And then it's really just a matter of creating a table row to contain the address. Table row to contain the phone number. table row to contain the various hours, okay? And then I'm just going to mark up some TD tags here. So TD tag creates a cell. So there's one there in front of address, one in front of phone, one in front of hours, one in front of the actual specific hours, one in front of the actual specific phone number, one in front of the actual specific address. Then I'm going to go and create a series of closing cell tags. One for the address, one for the actual address, one for the phone label, one for the actual phone number, one for the hours, one for the actual list of hours. I'm going to make sure these are all on separate lines. I'll just do some break tags in there. I just need those two. All right, takes care of that. That's pretty easy. Um, let's see how it's looking on the browser here. Okay, really kind of hard to tell that a table was even used because, uh, you know, there's no borders and stuff like that. So let me just jump back over here. I'm going to go to this first cell. Style equals width. How about uh, 150 pixels? Is that going to be too big? Yeah, okay, moved it out a little bit further. Okay, not too shabby. Um, we could also format this a little bit. This is the table in my center column. So I could go here. Okay, so my center column has a table. Within that, there are some TDs. Okay, what if I just do a uh, border bottom, one pick solid red, even though this wasn't in the sketch. Actually, there was a little bit of a border on there. I'm going to do a border on all four sides, solid red. There was a little bit of border in the sketch. And I'm also going to do a, um, nope, that won't go there. Actually, let's just leave it just like that. That'll be fine. So now we can kind of see that there is table structure. There we go. Got some table structure in there. So we've got that taken care of image. So that's really okay. You know, image could be maybe a little bit smaller, maybe move down a little bit lower and stuff like that. But uh, we can always fine tune at the very end once we're take once we've taken care of all the key elements. It looks like last on the list is really going to be this right side uh, area, and I like these videos to be around 10 minutes. I got about a you know a little about a minute or so left, so let's go ahead and take care of some things at least. There's a restaurant photo over here on that right side, so let me head back over to my uh, markup, HTML side of things. Go to my right column. Okay, center column. There's my right column. And I'm just going to insert an image. I'll just do a div. Oops. There we go. Get that in there. And I did, of course, provide an image for this. And what was it? It was. I think grillingfood.jpg. Okay, so let me put that in there. Grillingfood.jpg. I'm not sure what side. Remember, I've only got 200 pixels of width here, so I think that image is wider than that. So I'm just going to do an inline style 
width, how about 190 pixels? Okay, takes care of that. Save, Alt Tab. Oops, back over to FileZilla. Refresh, so that's kind of showing up in there now. That's pretty good. Um, and then, of course, on the sketch, the other thing I had on here was a, um, a review. And then there's a couple more things to take care of, and we're done with this exercise. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and we'll finish this up in the uh, next video.